Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in verse number 26 of Surah Ala Imran tells us who owns kingdom, who owns authority on land, and who is the one who elevates people. Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala, قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْكِ تُؤْتِي الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتَنْزِعُ الْمُلْكَ مِمَّنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُعِزُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُذِلُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ بِيَدِكَ الْخَيْرِ إِنَّكَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ Say, O oh Allah, Allah is the owner of kingdom, dominion, everything. He gives provision and kingdom, authority to whomsoever he wishes, and he takes it away from whomsoever he wishes. And he raises whomsoever he wishes, and he drops whomsoever he wishes, for indeed all goodness is in the hands of Allah. He is all able and all capable. This verse brings about a lot of comfort because we know that Allah is in control. He raises whom he wants. He drops whom he wants. So if you have been raised, you need to remember Allah can drop you, so be humble. And if you've been dropped, you need to remember Allah will raise you. He is the one who's able and capable, so develop your relationship with him. Either way, whether you have or you don't, the secret is to develop your relationship with Allah, to remain humble and remain steadfast. And this is why Allah